Hi, and welcome back to my next Greenfoot lesson at MrStewart'sLessons.com. If you've been following along so far, you should have a Fruit Wars scenario when you should have a pie ship which you can place, which can accelerate in different directions, and which can wrap or also bounce. Um, if you have the pie ship scenario already, we want to make sure we want to have the uh, for what we're doing next, we want to be using the uh, wrap at edge, not the bounce. Um, if you don't have the pie ship scenario or you just weren't able to make it work, you can go to my website, MrStewart'sLessons.com, and you can download the uh, Fruit Wars so far so that you can start the lesson right now. So if you need to do that, go to Mr. Stewart's Lessons and download the Fruit Wars uh, so far. Okay, so what we have right now is we have our pie ship which can accelerate, it can turn, and it can wrap. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a, another uh, actor, a piece of fruit that can do some of the same things. Now I want to, so you already know we're going to create a subclass, but in this case I specifically want to create a subclass of the space actors, not just of the actor for a particular reason that we'll see in a moment. So I'm going to select click on the sp space actors and create a new subclass and I'll choose a food, I'll choose a fruit such as a banana for example, or an, it could be an apple or grapes or uh, cherries. I'll call it bananas or whatever fruit you choose to call it. And I'll click OK. Now what we want to do is we want the bananas to be able to move in the way that the pie ship moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the pie ship. We want So we want the same kind of move command that the pie ship has. Now one thing I could do would be to copy and paste this move command into the bananas, but there's a reason we created a subclass because this gives us a better way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the move class and I'm going to cut the move class out of the pie ship and I'm going to go into the space actors and in the space actors I'm going to paste the move class in. What this does is it makes the uh, move command available to both the bananas and the, the, pie, the pie ship class. So if I copy it now, you'll notice that even though the move is in the space actors, it works just as well for in the pie ship. If I were, were to run it, this ship will still be able to accelerate in the same way. Slow it down so we can see what's happening a little bit better. What does that mean? That means that if I go in here and I want to make the, so what I want you to do first is I want you to go into the pie ship, I want you to highlight the move command that was in the pie ship, I want you to cut it, and I want you to put it in the space actors class. Pause it and do that right now. Okay, you should have the move command inside the space actors class now. So what I'm going to do is I want a, the bananas to move in the same way. So we're going to copy the place in the pie ship command where it calls the move command. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to copy it, not cut it in this case because we still want it to be inside the pie ship. I'm going to go into the bananas class and in the bananas class I will paste it here inside the act command. and if it comes out funny I can always do edit auto layout. Now it's not going to work yet. If I try to compile it now it's going to give me a problem because it doesn't know what the horizontal speed of the bananas is. We have to create a horizontal speed for the bananas. So what we want to do is we want the bananas to move randomly. They don't accelerate like the pie ship does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, but go up here and I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to create an integer for, for horizontal speed. And to make, avoid typos, I can, 
copy this and paste it. And um, now we want to know what's that going to be equal to. We want it to move randomly. So what I can do is I can use the get random number feature, which is in part of the Greenfoot class. So I'm going to type get random number. Uh, I mean, I'll type Greenfoot. Sorry, I'll type Greenfoot with a capital G, a period. And then I'll hit control space and I'm going to choose the get random number command. Now you notice there's a limit, there's a maximum amount, but we'd like it to move in either direction. So we would like to have a negative or a positive number possible. The best way to do that is I'm going to pick a number here. Uh, let's say I'll pick the number um, 5 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3. If I do 5 minus 3, what that's going to do is it's going to give me a random number between negative 2 and positive 2, which is what we want. In other words, it could be moving, the horizontal speed could be moving left or right. And now we're going to do, and so, but first I want you to do the same thing. I want you to type int horizontal speed, then we're going to do green foot, uh, control space, put in green foot, get random number, random number, 5 minus 3. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a vertical speed. And we can just copy this as it is because it's exactly the same thing. And we'll paste it. So I want you to create int vertical speed and then you can copy vertical speed from down here and we can copy green foot get net random number 5 minus 3 from up here. Don't forget your semicolon. Then we're going to close it. We'll compile it. And to see how it works, let's put a few bananas in. And we'll and if we run it, we'll see they're all moving in a random direction. This particular banana happens to not be moving at all. But they're not bound they're not wrapping around yet, which we want them to do. We want them to wrap around just like the pie ship does, which is easy enough to do. I'm going to uh, so what we want to do is we're going to get the wrap at edge method and we also need the uh, hit the edge method that's important so that we know when we hit the edge so I'm going to take the hit the edge method over here and I'm going to cut the hit the edge method from the pie ship and I'll go to space actors I'll paste that under the move method so I want you to do the same thing, cut the hit the edge method from the pie ship and put it into space actors under the move method. And now I'm going to go into the pie ship and I'm going to cut the wrap at edge method. I'll cut that from the pie ship and I'll paste that underneath the hit the edge method. So pause it and do that now. Cut, cut the rapid edge and move it into the space actors method. So now if you've done it right you should have your move method, your hit the edge and the rapid edge all up here in your all up in your space actors method and no longer in the pie ship method. Now we want to make the bananas wrap at the edge just like the pie ship does. So I over here I can copy the wrap at edge command. So we don't even need to do that. We could just go into bananas and hit control space. You'll notice it's going to be available. So I'll go over here and I'll hit control space and you'll notice one of my methods here is the rapid edge method right here. So I can just put that right into my bananas class. Put a semicolon at the end. Now I'll close it. And I'll compile it. I'll put a few bananas down. And I'll run it. And you'll see that what happens is my bananas will drift 
through the edge as they move. Now, what we'd really Now, what we'd really like to be doing is to be adding the bananas in random places at uh, the start of the game. We don't want them to always be in the same place. So I'm going to show you a method of doing that. The first thing I'll do, I'll reset this and I'm going to add uh, five bananas, say. Doesn't matter where we add them. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to we'll go to where it says save the world. And when I do that, it's going to go and you'll see that uh, some things were added to the world class. So first of all, you see this thing that says prepare. Prepare is the method that starts the class. And then in here, what we've done is we've created several different um, I've created several, it adds several different new bananas. So I want you to do the same thing. Add five or six bananas and then save the world. Okay, but what we want is we want the bananas to be added in random places. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside here in these coordinates and I'm going to make them into random numbers. So I'm going to type green foot then I'll put a period and I'll hit control space and I'll do get random number now we want it to be anywhere up to the uh, width of the screen right this is this is so um, this is the X coordinate so the X coordinate can be anywhere up to the width of the screen and we can get we're in the world class the space world class right now you'll see so we can just get the width of the world we can type we can hit control space and I'll go to get width right here okay and now this is the Y coordinate so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do green foot And we're going to do uh, get random number. And in the limit here, because it's the height, we'll use the get height method. Okay, so I want you to do the same thing. Uh, I want you to change the first two coordinates to green foot, get random number, get width, and green foot, get num random number, get height. Now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do put this get random number section in place of each of the new coordinates. So I'll click copy, I'll highlight this coordinate, and I'll paste over it. So I want you to copy the this part here, highlight the next two coordinates and paste this over it. Now I'll highlight the next two and paste it over, highlight the next two and paste it over. Make sure you don't copy over the parentheses or it won't work. I'll highlight light the next two and paste it over. And I'll highlight the next two and paste it over. Now I'm going to close it and I'm going to compile. And you notice every time I compile, the bananas come out in a different random. Every time I reset it, the bananas come out in random locations. Now we should also make the pie ship start in the middle. So I'm going to, so I want the pie ship should be right in the middle. So in my prepare, I'll say pie ship.
equals new pi ship. And I'll do add object. We're using the lowercase pi ship because what we're doing is we're actually creating a variable called pi ship that represents the new pi ship we've created. Now in this case, we'd like it to be uh, exactly in the middle of the screen. So for the so I'm going to press comma, and I'm going to put I want I'm going to use the get width method. And I'll divide it by two, which will be halfway in the middle of the screen. And then I'll press comma. And I'll do the get height method. And I'll divide that by two. And then I'll close the parentheses and put a semicolon. So I want you to put I want you to add that in. Pi ship, pi ship equals new pi ship, and add object pi ship equals get width divided by two, get height divided by two. Okay, now we'll close it, we'll compile, and we'll notice now the bananas might be anywhere, but the pi ship is right in the middle of the screen. Now the next things we need to do is make it so that when the pie ship hits the bananas it explodes and we need to make it so the pie ship can shoot the bananas. That's going to be in our next lesson and I will see you then.